So, let's start with with the basics. Um, if you can introduce yourself and what you do in the band. I am Anthony Ranieri, and I sing and uh, play guitar and bass. High. Okay. I, uh, I usually come, I, I sit here, I don't even keep an electric guitar in my house. I just, I have acoustic guitars here, uh, and I have uh, a piano, like a keyboard, and I write, um, I write chords, I write a, a, a general rhythm, a, a general rhythm and a tempo, and then I write chords, and I write a melody. Um, it's basically, I mean, it's, it's folk. It all starts sort of like folk or singer-songwriter or country even, you know. Just, you know, it starts out with just a simple chord progression, you know. So I'll just be sitting in my office playing a song. And so I sit here writing words in our old place. They all come out as letters and not contemplate mistakes we all See it's like it starts like that or I know my dear I got us here but I'm seeing things like I never saw before in my heart is like a powder keg and it flew and burned us both and left you sore see that could be that song could be played by anybody that was chord of chord progression a melody some lyrics that could be any band song and then jack comes in then i send that much to the rest of the band and jack comes in and he's puts his signature, his signature lead stuff over it, and Chris is gonna play a cool, heavy groove over that, and it becomes, it becomes another animal, you know what I mean? It becomes, it, that's when it becomes Bayside, once the rest of the band gets there. So that's sort of, that's, that's the process, you know, and I try not to, I, I don't even, I don't even have, I don't even allow myself to have all the equipment in my house where I do all the writing, um, too overthink it, you know, I, it's, it's because the song has to be good on an acoustic guitar with one vocal, one guitar, one vocal, chords, melody, lyric, that's the song, you know, and then those other guys put on their thing and then it becomes a bass that song, so that's, that's the process. So this is where the Bayside now, this is the Bayside train station, and we've talked about this story before. In, uh, in interviews that in, in uh, like De December, November, December of 2000 is when we recorded our first demo, but we, didn't, we hadn't named the band yet. So we were driving to go see, uh, to go see Newfound Glory play a show and we wanted to give them, we wanted to give them our demo. And, uh, and you know, and then they were gonna take us on tour and we were gonna become famous and everything. So. But we were like, so we're driving, we're in the car, we have, we have the seat, we have like burned CDRs of, of the demo, and dri we're like driving down the street, and we said, we don't have a name yet, what are we gonna name the band? What are we gonna name the band? We have to write something on it. So we drove by and we saw that sign right there as we were like driving down the street, and we said, somebody just said, all right, face on just write that, write that on it, face on <laughs> So that's it, we saw it right down the street, we saw that sign, that's where we got the name from. God was here, but I'm seeing things like I never saw before. My heart. So, yeah, my friend, good friend Yak, that I went to high school with, rapper signed to Def Trucks, and when we always try to get together when when we're home, we always talk about um, how uh, you go on tour and you have this whole life. There's always like you have. You have like famous friends and uh, fans, you know, you sign autographs and take pictures with people and stuff like that. And growing up in Queens, like, like uh, you know, rock wasn't 
cool at all. <laughs> you know, like rock music was definitely not cool. It still isn't, you know. Um, so you come back to Queens and all, you know, when I was growing up, all my friends, well, not my friends, but a lot, you know, all the people that I went to school with and stuff, they wanted to, uh, you want a union job, you know, that's like a good job. That's what you like strive for, you know, maybe one day you could get like a city job or could be like in a carpenter's union or something like that because it's, it's very good living, you know, you learn a trade, you make a good living. And then me and my small group of friends were the ones who like wanted to play in bands and be artists and make movies and direct music videos and stuff like that. So now we all do it, you know, like you know, we, are, we are the guys in bands and we are the guys who make movies and act in movies and act, you know, I have a, one of my best friends is in, in plays and stuff now and in the city and you, uh, we always joke though that you, then, you, then you come back to Queens and you walk down the street in Bayside and you're like, you're, you're like just some nerd wearing tight pants. You know, you go, you're out there, like, signing, little do they know, like, I, like, you know, I just played, I, I just played, like, a festival at Giant Stadium in front of 40,000 people, and then I, like, get in my car and I drive home, and I'm, like, just some, some nerd, same, like, weirdo I was in high school, but, it's awesome, though, it keeps you, keeps you grounded, I come home, like, uh, you know, I've had, I've had all the same friends since kindergarten, and I have this sort of second life now, right, where I go on tour, I have all these other friends, I get to see all these cool places and meet cool people and sign autographs and stuff like that, and I come home and I'm just like Anthony from Queens. I love it though. If I'm 